Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Uh, this is our fourth tutorial. And in this Moodle tutorial, uh, I'll be covering two activities uh, in Moodle. Uh, the first activity is called the feedback activity. And the second activity is called the forum activity. So um, before going further, uh, let me uh, briefly say what is a feedback activity and uh, what is a forum activity. So uh, a feedback activity, uh, it allows your teachers to create and conduct surveys to get feedback from their students. So I'll give example. Like uh, in this course, I have created uh, um, different uh, videos and tutorials. Now, as a teacher, I want uh, feedback uh, from the students that uh, video quality was good, the sound was not coming to the sound, the learning objectives I had said were not achieved, the video was made for the video, was not achieved. So those kind of uh, uh, questions uh, can be uh, uh, or those kind of or th this kind of information can be gathered uh, through a feedback activity. So I have created uh, feedback activities in the course. Inshallah, I'll show you uh, um, how uh, you can answer those uh, uh, those questions uh, using the feedback activity. Uh, the other is the forum activity. Now this is quite similar to uh, what you're using in Quick Schools. Uh, in quick schools, in quick schools, you have something called class discussions. Uh, if I'm not wrong, um, over there, your teachers create a class discussion, and then you answer questions, and the other students answer questions, and you share. Uh, you can even share images and uh, things like that. So, this uh, forum activity be bilkul exactly is It is more powerful than the one that's over there in quick schools. So it allows students and teachers to exchange ideas by posting comments. Um, those comments can be in the form of text. Those comments, uh, those comments can be in the form of files, images, videos, audios. Uh, you can you know, include all these things uh, in your uh, forum posts. So by the end of this, uh, watching these videos, uh, you would have used uh, the feedback activity to give feedback on the videos, and you should be comfortable doing that. I have created these uh, feedback activities for the videos, but it can be created for anything. Uh, so you should be able to give feedback on a feedback activity. That is one of the uh, learning objectives of this uh, video. And uh, I've also created uh, a couple of form activities um, and uh, hopefully by the end of this video, you should be able to uh, participate in these form activities by, uh, uh, by text or by using files and uh, audio, video. You should be able to, to do that. So let's log into your Moodle account and learn to use these activities. So open your browsers and uh, let's go to our um, Moodle website, ms-moodle.isra.edu.pk. Let's log in uh, to our student accounts. Log in. Okay, so we are uh, logged in and we can see the dashboard page. Uh, let's go to our course. Okay, so uh, now if you look at the course, you will see a couple of new things over here. First of all, I have uploaded your third tutorial we just covered uh, a while ago. Uh, it's over here. And um, the other thing is, uh, you might, must have noticed that uh, in each section, 
I have added a forum activity as well as a feedback activity. So I've added one each for the Moodle tutorial introduction. And then I also added one for the Edpuzzle tutorial, forum activity, Edpuzzle tutorial, as well as a feedback activity. And again, for the third tutorial, uh, the one on about activity and resources, I've also added a forum activity as well as a feedback activity. Now, uh, this icon over here uh, uh, symbolizes uh, feedback activity, while these uh, dialog boxes or pop-up boxes, uh, they uh, identify a forum activity. Um, so it's not necessary uh, that you you'll see your teachers writing form, or forum activity and feedback activity. Uh, it's just that I named them in this way so you know that you can differentiate between the two. Otherwise, you need to kind of uh, uh, start remembering which icon is for which. For example, this means this is an Edpuzzle activity, while this means this is a URL web page, uh, so on and so forth. So each activity or resource has, have, uh, ha has its own uh, icon. Okay, so I'll first um, uh, uh, do a feedback activity, uh, and, uh, and that's quite easy. And then uh, because in the, for the forum activity, we have a couple of options that we need to uh, explore. Yes, um, so like I said, the feedback activity is something in which you get feedback from the students uh, about, about something. So um, this uh, feedback activity over here in the Moodle tutorial introduction section is about this particular video that I made. So let me click on this activity. Now, uh, as a student, you will see that you need to, uh, the thing that'll appear over here is uh, answer the questions because as I said, this is a feedback activity in which you have to uh, answer a few questions and give your feedback on, on, in this case, about this video. Okay. So the first thing you need to note over here is the mode. Users, na users name will be logged and shown in answers. Now, this kind of feedback activity, what this means is, in this feedback activity, the teacher will know which student gave which reply. Uh, which student gave which reply. Now, the other uh, option that the teacher can have when, uh, when uh, he or she creates a feedback activity is that they can make the feedback activity anonymous, uh, which means that uh, the teacher would not know in that case um, who actually attempted the feedback activity. But in this case, when you'll attempt this feedback, I will know which uh, student gave which feedback. So, so uh, let's answer the feedback questions. So the first question is, how did you find the overall quality of the video? So you have, the cho uh, you have choices, uh, excellent, good, satisfactory, poor. So let's say, I'd, I'd say good, okay. How was the voice quality of the video? Mm, I'll say satisfactory, okay. And then I can go to the next page. It means there are more questions uh, that need to be answered. By the way, asterisks means that you have to answer these questions. If you don't answer these questions, you'll not be able to go to the next page. Okay, so uh, do you think the learning objectives of the tutorial were clearly communicated at the start of the video? So you have three options. Yes, they were clearly communicated. Yes, they were clearly communicated, but I could not understand them. No, they were not clearly communicated. Okay, so I will say yes, they were clearly communicated. Um, and then the, the, the other question is, do you think that after watching the entire video, you have achieved in understanding the stated learning objective? So it's saying that uh, whatever the objectives were, did you achieve them? Or did you uh, achieve them after seeing the entire video? So you can say, yes, I achieved all the objectives and answered everything. No, I did not achieve uh, uh, the learn, uh, you know, I did not achieve in learning the uh, uh, objectives by watching the video. And you can say somewhat, I achieved some of it and I did not achieve. So let's say somewhat, okay? So let's go to the next page. 
how did you uh, think this video can be improved? So this is not a, this is not a required question, so you don't have to answer it. Uh, but this is a open-ended question, so you can say you can say um, you can. Uh, uh, help. And, uh, actually, my uh, there's a problem with my keyboard, but you can uh, answer anything over here. Uh, I, you can even say it was perfect. Let's let's just do that. Perfect. Nothing, nothing to improve. Okay, perfect. And then you go uh, uh, submit your answers. There you go. Submit your answers. So you have uh, your answers have been saved. Thank you. And you have completed this feedback activity. So now you click on continue, and I think that will take you to your course uh, page. So we completed this activity. Uh, if you click on it again, it says you you have already completed this activity. So you cannot uh, uh, you know attempt it twice. So in, in a similar fashion, uh, feedback activities can, uh, are generally you know questions like this, which have rating, excellent, very good, good, or like survey questions. So even these feedback activities will have the same type of questions because I want to ask the same things about the quality of the video, the voice of the video, did you achieve the learning, did you understand the learning objectives, uh, did you understand, uh, did you learn about learning objectives? So the questions are same in the feedback activity. Now a teacher can create another feedback activity form, uh, activity which can have completely different questions, that's up to them, uh, but it's something like this. So you, you need to answer questions and your answers are recorded and the teacher can see your answers and, and then this can help the teacher, let's say, improve the quality of the video, um, you know, maybe redo the video or maybe talk, have a one-to-one -one session with you and see what was your pro I mean, what did you not exactly achieve? So all these things can be uh, a, an outcome after uh, you, you give your feedback. So teacher is very helpful for the teacher. And after seeing the they can actually uh, make some decisions about how to proceed forward. Okay, so uh, now let's go uh, to um, uh, the forum activities. Let's try to see uh, the forum activities. Um, by the way, please uh, try to fill in the feedback activity for all these uh, videos. So you have three videos now, and by the time you watch this video, there'll be a fourth video as well. So I'd appreciate your feedback on the videos as well. Um, so let's go uh, to a forum activity. Now, um, the forum activity has a couple of options. So Let's look at this form activity first. The form activity, uh, Moodle tutorial activity and resources. Okay, here we go. So you can see here the description is I have created this class uh, discussion for the Moodle tutorial activity and resources YouTube video that I shared with you. So this is for uh, the purpose or the description of the activity. Uh, there's a comment here. This form allows each person to start one discussion topic. So as a teacher, I have initiated a discussion topic. Uh, you can actually reply to uh, the discussion topic uh, or you can even create a new discussion topic. So let's let's first um, go over here and uh, um, uh, click on this and uh, what do you see on the next page? You see uh, I have written here, Salaam Alaikum students, if you have any issues or difficulties with respect to this tutorial, then please share them here. With the appreciation, thanks. Wassalam, Ahmed Khalid. This is something I have started. Now, what you can do is, if you want to reply to this, you can click on reply over here. And uh, you can type your reply. Uh, the video was fine. Uh, 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 as in there. Um, this is a text reply. Um, and I can just go here and submit. Okay. Um, and then maybe I realize something else and I want to, you know, edit my reply. I can edit my reply if I want to edit my reply. Uh, I can change it. Okay. Although it was not fine. Okay. I think you need to. Redo this video. Or something like that. Okay. So save changes. 
Okay, or uh, you might, you know, have two things to say, two different things to say. So you might, you know, again, reply to this thread. And you would say, uh, have the advance. Uh, that I want to, uh, you know, and, and you want to basically report an audio reply, let's say. So you click on advanced. And uh, this is something very important that I would like to spend some time on. Uh, is uh, in Moodle, uh, generally when uh, you are giving a reply, you would have this kind of text editor. Now, this editor, as you can see, um, has a couple of options. Um, you can uh, uh, type in this editor, okay? You can put equations in it. You can underline thing, you can bold thing, you can italic thing, you can list enlist things, uh, you can add attachments to it, links to it, uh, pictures to it. So there's several things that you can do uh, in this. So sometimes you will see later on, even in your assignments, you can use this tool to write your replies inside this. Or maybe you can even copy paste your, uh, let's say you're working on your Word document, and you know you can just copy the word document and paste it here. You can do those kind of things as well. Again, this is a the text editor uh, that is built in inside Moodle that you can use. So, for example, I want to uh, give a, uh, a reported uh, audio reply. I can then uh, I will click on this microphone record audio, and I can say start recording. Uh, allow it to use my microphone and I have two minutes to record and I can say yes uh, I like the video a lot uh, but I think there are too many activities uh, which made it a bit difficult and I got confused over there um, uh, hopefully in the next videos things will become more clear as I use them and you know and you can add whatever you want to add and then you click on stop recording and then you say attach recording or if you don't like your recording you can hear your recording over here you can hear, hear your preview and if you, if you like what you said, you don't want to repeat again, uh, then you can attach a recording or you can re-record whatever you want to record. So I'll say attach recording, and here is my recording is attached. And then I can post this to the forum, and it's posted. So now I have a text reply, and I have a uh, audio reply. I can even reply to my own threads. So you can reply to your uh, friend's threads, and, and this thing can go on, and I, I'm sure you I have a good understanding of this as you have been using this thing in Quick School as well. Uh, but you can attach, uh, you know, a picture. You have to, let's say, uh, you know, uh, find a picture. Let's say, uh, upload a file, choose a file, and I would say, let me just find a file for you over here. Demo Builder. Let's say, shall I go over here? Do I have something over here? No, I don't. Okay, let's go back. Oh yeah, it's a couple of slides over here. So I can say, yes, I have this. I want to upload this picture. Upload this and save image. I can change the size, auto size. Uh, describe the image for someone who cannot see it. Um, save image. It must be, have a description, okay. Okay, description not necessary, and okay, so I'll save the image, and then I can post this image. So here you go. So I, I have posted a video, uh, a audio link, uh, audio clipping, a text, I upload an image. So these are, uh, so uh, the more you uh, ex experiment with this, with this text editor, and you will have to, uh, as you will be doing your assignments on this as well, so, um, you you know you you'll have, you'll you eventually learn to to use it. Um, so this was uh, 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 the first uh, forum activity forum activity, and uh, the interesting thing about this activity was that I can only create one discussion group. So I haven't even actually created a discussion group yet. What I have done it uh, what I've done is I have. Um, added a few comments into the uh, class discussion created by, by the teacher. So if I go again to the same form activity, I can also add a new discussion topic. So I can say, uh, you know, uh, video tutorial 
or I can say, uh, I want to know more about the, let's say, um, four activity options that are available. Something that you as a, as a student can create and you say it goes to forum. Now you can see over here, this is a, a new discussion topic that's opened up. It started by the student, the name, your name will be coming here, and it has zero replies, while over here we have three replies. So any student can create now, uh, create this uh, um, class discussion, uh, open a discussion, uh, and uh, others can basically reply in it. Now, uh, one thing I want to uh, show you is that this forum allows each person to start one discussion topic, and I've already created mine, so I cannot create another one. So, so that's what I can do. So uh, this was, uh, uh, in this forum activity, um, you, you added to a um, active uh, uh, open discussion by the teacher and replied uh, in a couple of ways and then you also created another discussion uh, you opened up a discussion topic as well now all forum activities don't allow you to open a discussion topic let me show you another activity forum activity which does not allow you to open a discussion topic again those options are um, adjusted or by your teacher so you don't have much control over it like over here you can see uh, there is no, uh, you cannot create any uh, uh, discussion, uh, open discussion topic. You can reply to these, uh, you know, uh, and let's say you can reply to this person and say, uh, I think uh, Kabul is better than to school. Um, okay. And you can post it again if you want to add uh, something more, a video, audio, or attach a file. You can use that, and you can also uh, use this editor. If you want more options or advanced buttons for this editor, you'll click here, and you can have more options here as well. So let me post this. And as you can see, it came uh, as a, a nested reply over here. Okay. Um, Okay, over here you have 30 minutes to edit it if you want to make changes because in this uh, um, post your teacher has given the option that you may able, you know, you, uh, if you don't edit, you have the option to change your post within 30 minutes. If you don't do it, then, um, you know, it, it will get posted and then you'll not be able to change it. Okay. Okay, so let me uh, go to the form activity again. Uh, there's this other uh, uh, notification again uh, highlighted in blue. Uh, which says the due date for posting to this forum is Tuesday, 30th, June 2020. So this forum will be open till this day. After this day, this forum will be closed and you can't uh, add anything to it. So, uh, you know, the teachers can even post a deadline um, that uh, a, po a, a forum activity can be active for after which it becomes, it will become disabled. Then there's other, other options over here. Uh, display replies in nested form, um, old first, the different settings that you can use, the newest post comes first, and so on and so forth. So the original uh, one that I have here is display, display replies in nested form. So you can play with this thing and you can see which one, uh, you know, you fancy more than the others. Okay. So now uh, let me go back again to the course and let me show you the third uh, form activity that I've created. Now, notice over here we had two videos, right? So we had the Edpuzzle tutorial YouTube video, and we had the Edpuzzle, uh, Edpuzzle tutorial, which was made in Edpuzzle to make it an interactive video. So we had a YouTube video, and then we had an interactive video. So we had two different videos. So I basically uh, created in this form uh, a form activity, you'll notice I've opened two discussion threads. One is for class discussion on Edpuzzle tutorial interactive video. So whoever wants to talk about this, they can put their comments over here and post their comments here. But anybody who wants to talk about the class discussion on 
Edpuzzle tutorial YouTube, they can put their comments over here. So that's something that the teacher can do. The teacher can open multiple discussion topics. As well as in, for this form activity, the teacher has uh, allowed you to create as many new discussion topics as you want. There is no limit of creating one discussion topic as we saw earlier in one of the other forum activities. Um, yes, so uh, with that, um, I think um, uh, we have covered um, the uh, forum activity as well and uh, the various different types of forum activities that you may encounter based on the settings that your teacher might change. And uh, now before ending this video, I want to show you a couple of things uh, which are quite useful. So number one uh, I want to show you is uh, something here on the left-hand side uh, corner at the top of your browser. Uh, if you click on this thing, you'll see the navigation um, sidebar opening up. So it, it um, you know, you can quickly go to places. For example, if you go to your dashboard page, you will go uh, come to this page and you can see um, your courses, recently courses, and a couple of other things I want to talk uh, about over here. If you want to go to the site home, you'll go to the home page uh, on the school. Um, but I want to go and uh, I can also go to my course over here, uh, uh, background students. I can see my courses. These are my courses. So I can click over here and I can go to my course. So here I come to my course. So this is a faster way of going to places uh, you know, which you're interested into without going through a series of uh, clicks. Um, in, in the courses, you can even see the activities there. So for example, uh, you can directly go to your YouTube uh, tutorial video. And uh, um, your Edpuzzle uh, tutorial. Uh, and uh, so you can actually go to all these activities directly from here without actually going through these series of steps to come to your course home page, course home page. Okay, so I want to show you something on the, uh, so this is one thing I wanted to show you, this navigation uh, sidebar. And then I want to also show you something on the dashboard page. So because some of the form activities and feedback activities have dashboards, so what you can see over here now is that you have a calendar you have upcoming events, and then you have a timeline. So timeline, I can say um, next 30 days, what are my deadlines? So it's going to tell me in the next 30 days what, what, what is due. So I have to, you know, this, this helps me uh, filter out my deadlines. So I have to answer this or view this. This, this. this is the timeline of things. I can keep track of my deadlines. These are the upcoming events. Again, these, this helps me, uh, and I can go to my... Uh, calendar to see this, these events. So if I go click on my calendar here, go to calendar, I can see my upcoming events. Um, so let's so see if I go on the 18th, I have, there are no events on this day, but if I go on the, click on the 30th, which is highlighted over here. Okay, let's see, it's gonna come hopefully. Okay, here we go. So Tuesday 30th, so you have, you know, this is due, uh, this closes, you know, this closes. So, uh, so, so you know, this will also um, help you manage your uh, assessments, keep track of the assessments, the deadline of the assessments, the homework. So this is also a feature that is quite, uh, quite handy uh, with uh, your uh, Moodle account. And this thing automatically happens based on uh, how your teacher sets up the deadlines for your assessments, assignments, uh, forum activities, feedbacks, and those things all will appear over here and you can you know, easily track them. So, so with this, I would like to end this video and, and hopefully in the next video, uh, I will talk about uh, how to submit your assignments uh, in Moodle, um, how you'll be getting your assignments. That'll be one, one tutorial. And then we'll have another tutorial on assessments uh, the tutorial on assessments is uh, going to uh, cover the quiz activity of Moodle, as well as uh, I'll, I'll try to uh, show you uh, how we're going to take assessments using Quizlet and quizzes. So because we'll be using those as well, 
so, so, so those two, uh, to, to, those two tutorials are going to uh, follow this one, and hopefully, uh, I'll be sending them uh, soon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.